A Caldwell mob is speaking out and demanding her local officials have a conversation about racism. After a neighbor called the police on her nine-year-old daughter, who's black, for spraying trees to save them from spotted lanternflies. As Melissa Rose Cooper reports, the story is sparking debate and support from those outside New Jersey. Bobby has not been the same since that day. You know, I'm doing my job, you know, just the same way the officer did to let her know emotionally and even physically that she didn't do anything wrong. Yet it's a thought Monique Joseph says her nine year old daughter Bobby questioned last month after a police officer approached them while Bobby was spraying trees with a homemade solution to kill spotted lanternflies. Like my oldest daughter Hayden said, Bobby wanted to do something that made her feel like she was helping the environment. And it literally just came from that. You know, like, wow, I hear about it on the news, my teachers are talking about it, and there are two trees on my block. Maybe I can save those two trees. So it was shocking for Joseph to learn her neighbor, former city council member Gordon Lashi, someone she says she has had friendly interactions with in the past, called police. Hold on, please, Fetch Warren. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, this is Gordon Lashi. I'm at 15 Elizabeth Street. Um, there's a little, a little black woman walking and spraying stuff on the sidewalks and trees on Elizabeth and Florence. I don't know what the hell she's doing. It scares me, though. Initially, when I spoke to him immediately after, my first reaction was, let me, let me ask him why did he feel the need to call. Um, in that conversation, he told me two things that do not correlate with the 911 report. He told me he thought she could have been a lost little girl or she could have been a little old lady with dementia. I immediately challenged that. What did you ask her if she was lost? You know, how could Bobby be lost on her street? You know us, you know Bobby. And his response was, you can never be too safe. People are crazy out here, Monique. Lashi's call to police now raising concerns of biased treatments and racism. His attorney, Greg Massera, denies racial profiling was involved, but because of the accusations, he says Lashi and his family are now getting physical threats. But the incident is drawing support from people within the community and beyond who want to make sure Bobby understands she did nothing wrong. So when I read the story, and I saw her testimony, it immediately just broke my heart because I, because these are things that black girls go through on a day-to-day -day basis. They're, they're not even allowed to be children and just explore the world where there's adults that are actually genuinely trying to ruin their childhood. So I, you know, I not only not even just ruining their childhood, but literally trying to siphon their brilliance. Dr. Ijoma Opara is an assistant professor at the Yale Public School of Health in the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Growing up as a black girl in New Jersey herself, it was important for Opara to show Bobby black women scientists who, like her, are also looking for ways to save the environment. So she invited Bobby and her family for a tour of the science department. I imagine how excited she must have been to go out in her community and say and save her, you know, her trees and her plants it like her like the state you know encourage is encouraging people too so i i didn't want her to walk away from that experience thinking this was a bad thing i wanted to really work with the family to replace that bad memory with a really positive impactful memory that will last a lifetime joseph says she's grateful for the support i don't want bobby to lose her steam for stem i don't want her to lose her wonder i don't want her to lose her enthusiasm for nature and it starts where? At home. Joseph is also hoping what happened to her daughter can be used as a teaching moment so other black and brown children never have to be afraid to be at home, a place where they're always supposed to feel safe. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.